So I really wanted to share with you my story and how this dermatitis just randomly showed up in my life one day, which I'm not too happy about it, but it's going away. This is kind of a three-part story. I have already put out two other videos. Um, one regarding my face prep that I do before a makeup tutorial, and the other is doing a makeup tutorial, um, and it was more of a foundation tutorial talking about the dermatitis that I'll be going into here soon. This video is more about how I cured my dermatitis with our backyard bees. Give this video a like if you've ever suffered from acne, rosacea, dermatitis, eczema, any type of skin issue or rash that is really irritating. Also leave a comment and let me know what you have done um, and what has actually helped you because I want this to be a conversation. I want this to be a community that you can feel safe and talk about what is happening to you and what is happening to your skin. Like I said, I'm a makeup artist and I work with a lot of different products. However, I specialize in clean beauty. I personally love using clean beauty on myself. I usually like to seek out homeopathic treatments first on my own and see if I can heal it. But for now, I wanted to talk about my journey. I was diagnosed with celiac disease when I was a senior in high school. If you haven't heard of it, it's basically you have a gluten allergy and you can't eat gluten. But more than that, it's an autoimmune disorder, so it can affect other things in your body um, and how you react to other things. I'm also allergic to egg, which randomly came on, and I truthfully think they're connected. I think a lot of things in our bodies are connected. I have no doubt that my celiac disease and my autoimmune disorder play into uh, my sensitivity. It plays into the dermatitis that I have now. I'm sure it's all gut related. I've been trying to research that as well and what to eat and what not to eat for dermatitis. It just continued to slowly get worse. And for some reason, the minute that quarantine started and the minute that I wanted to start doing tutorials um, and film myself, well, that's when it got worse. Oh, it's scary. I, and I can't believe I'm actually showing you this, um, but I think it's important because a lot of people deal with skin issues. I used to have terrible acne. I had to go on Accutane for, you know, six months. I had terrible cystic acne from like age 14 to 16 all the way to like 22. And at 22, I was like, I don't need to continue having these issues. So then I had to go on Accutane and that was the only thing, the only thing that helped me. I did facials, I did medical facials, I did peels, I did topicals, I did, you know, pills, did birth control, everything. Some things worked, some, thing, some things didn't, but this is the dermatitis. Oh, it literally has not gone, gone away in about three months. It's kind of come and gone, but these last like three weeks has been terrible. And this is actually healing and much better than it was. Um, I think what happened is I was just trying way too many different products with active ingredients and it was just messing with my pH and also just messing with my skin. I have very sensitive skin, so I don't think I can do that. I have to stick to one product at a time. <laughs> maybe do some patch tests. My boyfriend told me, Benji told me to stop using every product and just don't put anything on my face. So I literally haven't tried any skincare, which is really sad for me <laughs> for like two weeks, um, but it actually has helped. And the only thing that I do, I wash my face with this, that's it. I don't put any moisturizer on, I don't put anything on. The only thing that helped it over this last week was our honey. I would actually just put honey in all of the troubled areas and just left it all day. We were fortunate enough to have a beautiful property and we have wild bees that have just landed here. We didn't buy these bees, we didn't buy a queen. This is our very first honey from our hive. We built this in the roof. Yeah, you said to be careful to really get underneath. It's actually going under really easily. Wow, wow. look at that. Wow. That actually extremely easy. So that one doesn't have that much on the ends either. Wow. Look at that. So let's get to the fun part. Why I decided to put honey on my face. <laughs> Great question. Like I mentioned before, I love natural clean beauty. My clients who's also clean, her name is Vashti. She's amazing. And she put on a honey mask. This was just after we had gone into the hive. We took a little bit out for us and it was in a jar. And I thought, oh, I've done a lot of research on why honeybees are so important for our planet. 
but also their healing capabilities. And from that, I kind of put two and two together and I was like, well, I have the purest honey that not only is local, but it's in our backyard at our house and I can easily, you know, ingest it, but why not try to put it on my dermatitis? So that's exactly what I did. I would actually just put honey in all the troubled areas and just left it all day, all night. I would reapply, you know, morning and at night to get a fresh coat and it also stopped me from picking because it was sticky, so that's a bonus. And then now the last couple days since it's been healing, I'm putting um, vitamin E on it. So the first night that I put it on, I woke up the next morning. Yes, I was sticky, <laughs> my pillow is sticky, but it actually dries down. So if you, if you leave it on for like a good hour before you go to bed, obviously a couple hours before you go to bed, it actually starts to dry down and it's not as sticky as it is right away. Um, and then I went to bed and the next morning I woke up and the irritated inflamed areas were much less irritated. They weren't as red. I could tell it didn't spread as well. After 10 days of only using honey, I'm in disbelief of how fast it healed after a couple weeks of it just going nuts and spreading. This is 10 days later. And yes, it is still healing because there was a lot of it. However, this is so much better than what it was, like night and day. It's completely toned down and now it's just a matter of the healing process and taking good care of it and using the vitamin E to help with any scarring. Still not using a ton of products. I'm fortunate enough that a lot of cosmetic companies and skincare companies send me products and I love to try them all and it's really fun. I've realized that I have to take care of my skin first and only use one product at a time. I really do attribute the healing of my dermatitis to the natural honey from our backyard honeybees and I'm it makes me so happy because I love our bees so much. I'm finally feeling like myself again. I mean, I know this is crazy because it's still there, it's still pink, but that's the healing that I need and it's not spreading anymore. I don't have any new spots and I feel like I can breathe and I feel like now I can get back to what I love and what I love is doing makeup. Thank you so much for watching. Again, like I said, I want this to be a community. I want this to be a conversation. Please give me your feedback. I'd really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment. If you know somebody that has had dermatitis or acne or any of that, I have a video of how to cover it. I have a video, this video of how I feel like I cured it, but please share the love and stay tuned. There's a lot more coming and thanks for watching. Wow, this is our first honeycomb. Look at how beautiful that is. You can extract it and keep the wax and make some candles. But look, it kind of just falls to the bottom like that. It's so good. I'm gonna give it a taste. It's so pretty. Look at that color. It's delicious. Backyard honey. Wow, shave straight right off the comb. Give it a bite. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm, that is so good. Yeah. Take a little bite awesome. of that. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. So, whenever you get honey, make sure you get it from the farmer's market or a trusted beekeeper because honey is loaded with sugar. Obviously, natural sugar, but when you get it in the store, I lace it with sugar so that it can go farther. That's not pure. This is pure. Pure honey. And it is so sweet. You feel like this is like added sugar, but mmm. And that wax. What do you do with that? Bee gum? Keep it. Put it behind <laughs> your ear. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I got a good idea. Wait, you don't even have your gloves on. Okay. Show. We need like two. Okay, let me get a frame. Here, frame. Frame. Frame, yeah. What's the top? That's the top. Okay. I'm probably not gonna shake the first one in there oh, wow. because. Holy cow. So in wow. Kind of honey in there. Wow, you can see the pollinator over here. It's 
see that? Wow. This is the one with the queen, I think.